What's up, I'm Nick, and I'm sure you're wondering, Facebook ads cost how much? We're gonna talk about it on this episode. Stick around. So we get that question a lot. What do loan officer Facebook ads cost in the real world? And so let's talk about some numbers, okay? Now, what I'm gonna share with you today is I'm gonna share with you two different ways that you can run Facebook ads and some different um, numbers that you could expect to get from those leads, okay? Both of these things that I'm gonna share with you right now, the short form and the long form, we're doing both of these in the Legion of Loan Officers. You can find out more information at legionofloanofficers.com or if you're interested in having it done for you as an agency, you can reach out and uh, we have our own agency called AdSmiths as well. So first we're gonna talk about short form, okay? So we're gonna talk about short form versus long form and what you can expect each one of these type of leads to cost you when you're running it on Facebook. Now depending on what you're doing, there are a ton of different variables obviously, right? Um, the variables in Facebook is gonna be depending on what market you're in. So, you know, for example, if you're in San Diego, California, your cost per lead is gonna be a lot different than if you're in uh, Kansas City or Oklahoma City or somewhere like that, you know, where um, there's a correlation in how much your leads cost and how tech savvy a market is, you know? So a super tech savvy market like Austin, Texas or Denver, Colorado, some of those markets, the leads are gonna be a little bit more expensive than if you go into a market that maybe is less internet savvy, you know, um, and you can understand what I mean by that, right? So obviously that's, you know, one variable. Another variable could be how many people are running the same type of ads that you're running in your market. So you know, if you're the only person running ads to the audience that you're hitting with the message that you're sending, you're gonna have much better odds of um, having get you know of basically getting all the leads right because you're the only one talking about that message. But if you're in a market where there are tons of people running the same message and um, it can get watered down, then you know your cost per lead may be maybe more expensive. You know, um, a great example of that is what happened with VA home loans back in around 2017. Is that there was a mastermind group and a VA campaign got shared into that group by somebody and basically all the marketers started running the same VA ad overnight, right? And where VA ads used to only cost $3 a lead, then all of a sudden they started costing $5 or $8 or $10 a lead because everybody was running the same ad in, in different markets. And there were multiple people in that group that were running those ads on a national level. I know one guy who was, who was spending between $3,000 and $5,000 a day running that campaign. And you know, if you're a local loan officer and you just have a budget of $15 or $20 a day, it's difficult to compete against a guy spending $5,000 a day, right? So those are some variables that can determine what loan officer Facebook ads cost but what I'm gonna show you right now is what you could expect depending on if you're running short form or long form. Now, when I'm talking about short forms, these are gonna be things like, uh, like a house, right? Uh, short form leads can be something like a VA. Uh, they can be first time home buyers. Uh, short form can also be um, different industry campaigns, right? So you could go get uh, nurses, for example, and doctors, okay? and you, that would be one kind of a campaign you can run. <clears throat> you can run for all kinds of different niches, right? Uh, there's a gazillion types of houses and niches and different ways to spin those niches. And so you can run anything for a list of homes and all that kind of stuff. And you can get anything with short form like this, right? Now, typically with short form, we're gonna get between three and five fields of information, all right? Uh, with short form, we're always gonna get name, email and phone number and then sometimes you can ask other questions as well on a short form where it still doesn't get quite into the long form category but you can have sort of this medium range we call them trojan forms because they're going to be easy like a short form but you're going to get higher intent leads like a long form so you know with a short form you can again ask name email 
phone. And then if you want to ask other information, you can, right? How much can you afford? Uh, do you right now own or rent your house? You know? Um, would you have a house to sell before, or would you have a house to sell before you could buy again, right? Um, what area do you want to live in? This, this kind of thing. So those can be some questions where you're asking over here on the short form side. Now for us, depending on what kind of leads you're running right now in the Legion of Loan Officers and in the Ad Smiths, you know, our lead cost is anywhere uh, between $1 and $5 per lead, okay? Now, the $1 is gonna be closer if you're only asking name, email, phone number, and if you're running like single properties, first time home buyers, things like that. The three to $5 range is gonna be if you're asking some additional questions, and if you are running it for things like nurses and doctors, um, if you're running for VA home loans, if you're running to specific companies, right, and, and doing a, an employee special or something like that, that's when you might creep up more to the three to five dollar range. But if you're just running like a house ad and you're just asking for name, email, phone number, you're gonna be closer to the dollar range. So there's a lot of ways to get them really cheap over here. So, you know, if you're getting a dollar, let's say if you have a thousand dollars to spend, right, you're getting leads for a dollar, over here, you can get a thousand leads. Now, with our short form stuff, I don't know, hopefully you're seeing this down here, but it's a thousand, basically a thousand leads, right? I'm just gonna put that up here. So if you're getting a thousand leads over here, now with our short form stuff, depending on exactly, again, which campaign you're running, we're gonna be somewhere around uh, maybe a two and a half percent conversion rate, okay? So let's just say that's a 2.5% conversion on those thousand leads. Okay, that's gonna lead you somewhere around 25, that should lead you somewhere around 25 uh, pre-approvals if you're getting a thousand leads in the month, all right? These numbers are very doable. I have a mortgage broker I'm working with right now out of Colorado that's averaging around here. He's averaging about a thousand leads a month. They're getting about 60 applications and then from there, some of them going into credit repair and they're averaging around 30 pre-approved home buyers per month. So this number is very doable getting a thousand leads. Now obviously, that's at basing on a, on a dollar lead, right? So if we were to uh, move that up, maybe let's say to $2.50 a lead, you know, for your, instead of a thousand leads, you're gonna have 25, 250 leads. And then from that 250 leads, what you're gonna get from that is basically uh, about what, five, a little bit more, let's see, two, two and a half, five, one and a, plus another one and a half, so let's just call that like six to seven. That's gonna give you six to seven pre-approvals. So even still, well, like leave, leave a comment below here and let me know, would you be happy if you spent a thousand dollars and you got six or seven pre-approved home buyers, would that be a good spend for you? I think for me, I would definitely be happy with that. So this is some of the things that you could expect over here on the short form side, okay? Now, on the long form side, you can run a lot of these same campaigns. We can just get a little bit more information. All right, so on the long form, we can ask anywhere from eight to 15 uh, pieces, of in pieces of information, okay? So that's why it's called a long form because people are gonna go through, they're gonna give a lot more information. And usually that, inf that you know, the fact that they've gone through all these extra steps, right, you create a lot of more friction with the long forms and these extra steps, they're gonna create where you know, people are a little bit higher intent. Uh, with the short form, especially if you're using Facebook lead forms and they're pre-filled, they're pre that's why to me it's important to add a couple of other steps if you want to get a little bit higher intent because then they're gonna have to fill some things out with their fingers right? versus it being automatically filled in. So on the long form, a lot of people are using survey funnels. We have survey funnels inside of Conversation Bot. So you can actually run long form funnels now inside of our follow-up software. You can check that out, theconversationbot.com. Some other people, they're using Survey Gizmo, right? So Survey Gizmo is about $1,000 a year, and that's gonna let you run these survey funnels if you wanna have a standalone, completely separate uh, system. Um, otherwise, you know, Conversation Bot, or there's a few other ways to do it. You know, some people I've seen use Typeform or now JotForm actually has a survey uh, piece built into it. So there's some other ways to do it as well. But these two right here are probably your best right now on the market. So with the long forms, 
they're gonna cost more, right? Your long forms are usually gonna cost somewhere between 10 to $15 a lead. And so it's, you're gonna get a lot less leads for your spend, but they're gonna also be higher quality leads. And so you're usually gonna have to have a little bit less conversations in order to get a pre-approval, right? So over here, we're converting at two and a half percent. Let's just say that these long form leads convert at, you know, at 10%, for example, right? I don't know, every, every market again is a little different. So if you figured out that it was gonna cost you about $15, um, if it was gonna cost you 15 or 12.50 somewhere, and that range for the for the long form leads, instead of getting 250 leads, right, um, at two dollars and fifty cents, maybe you're gonna only get a, uh, you know, uh, maybe like 75 leads, you know, um, and then from those 75 leads, right, if you're converting at 10 percent, that's gonna give you about seven to eight, seven to eight pre-approved home buyers. Now over here, we said you're getting six to seven based on a $250, or 250 leads. And over here, you were getting 25 based on a thousand leads. Um, so, you know, you have a chance. The short form leads give you more at bats, but the long form leads are gonna be higher intent, right? So you're gonna have less conversations, but more of those conversations are gonna lead to uh, applications and pre-approved home buyers with the long form, but I think personally you should have a mix, right? I think you need to have like a 50-50 split running long form or medium form leads, and then 50-50 split on the short form, because this is gonna really build your database up huge. I mean, getting a thousand leads a month is gigantic, right? Especially because you can take all those people off of Facebook, now you've got their name, email, phone number, you can create retargeting lists, a lot of things that you can do, right? We can send them text messages, emails, and this kind of thing. Over here, obviously, you're only gonna have 75 people to add to your database, so that's a lot less. But, you know, you're gonna have less, have to do, have less conversations to get about the same amount of business coming off of that $1,000. So, depends on what your goals are, right? Is your goal to just have right now business and have less conversations and less at-bats to get these deals? Or is your goal to build a long-term, huge database that you can control and you wanna take these thousand leads off of Facebook, that's how you might run the short form. So this is some of what you could expect in terms of what loan officer Facebook ads cost. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments down below what, what do you usually experience in terms of your ad cost? I'd love to know. And uh, make sure that you subscribe, give me a thumbs up, uh, turn on the alerts so that as I'm adding new content, we're gonna be adding two videos per week. And as I'm adding new content, I'd love for you to get alerted so you can check it out and be one of the first to comment. We're gonna start giving away prizes and all kinds of cool stuff on the channel. So I'll see you around.